Hello, my name is James Lee. I am a WBD, or Warner Brothers Discovery, shareholder. And I'm doing this video today to talk to you about what's going on in Hollywood, what I see going on in Hollywood, which a lot of people on YouTube have no clue what's going on. And it's getting to the point now that we're seeing basically Hollywood having to make a decision. That decision is, are we going to go for profit or are we going to let our companies run into the ground and go out of business? That's where we're at right now. I mean, we've already seen CEOs starting to step down. We saw the CEO of Paramount is announcing that he's stepping down, which, I mean, if you look at Paramount, it's a complete disaster. Paramount, um, how can I put this? Paramount rolled the dice and lost. Their streaming service has completely crashed. Their movies have not done very well. They've had a couple of movies here and there successful, but not great. They just have totally, basically, gone woke. I mean, they did. They really did. They didn't have any choice. Well, yeah, they had a choice, but what it pertained to is what happened to their company. I mean, their company is a complete shambles. And I'm going to explain something else. Okay, I have 30 years business management experience. 30 years. Okay. I can look at these businesses and tell you how to fix them real quick. Paramount is easy to fix. A lot of these companies are real easy to fix. The problem is these companies have CEOs that have made the decision to play politics to a crowd that does not support them, does not recognize them, and doesn't give a rest, but all they want is their little niche put in everything and anything else. They don't support anything. The other day, I was listening to Pierce Morgan, which I'm going to tag on this video. He had some guests on, and the gentleman was talking about diversity and how Black Panther had been this great movie. Black Panther was a great movie by itself. It had nothing to do with diversity, and it was fit between the Avengers movies, which were great, too. If you want to look at movies that really have, where, where is this crowd you keep talking about diversity? Where were they for Demeter? Bombed. Where were they for Bros? The gay rom-com? Bombed. Where were they for the um, Color Purple movie? Bombed. I can go on and on and on with movies that have totally bombed. Right now, Warner Brothers has got one called Challengers. That movie's going to bomb. It only did $25 million worldwide on its opening weekend. What the crap? I mean, why did we even greenlight that movie? I mean, that was stupid. And yes, as a WB investor, I can scream about this. Now, let's look at some other things. When you have a company that ignores their base product, their base customer service, and goes for another group of people who, one, don't care what you're producing, they only have a political agenda, and then when it comes out, they don't support it. That's what's happening to Hollywood. They're playing this diversity, equity, inclusion stuff, race swapping characters, which is racist, sex swapping character, which is sexist, and all it does is piss people off. And I mean, seriously, it's pissed people off. That's why your movies are, that's why Hollywood right now is hurting so much for money. Not only that, but now you have movie theater chains talking about going into bankruptcy. Why? Because nobody trusts Hollywood. Okay, nobody trusts Hollywood. I mean, I saw the list of movies for Warner Brothers for the whole year, and I'm going to tell you right now, except for Godzilla and for Dune and for Beetlejuice, pretty much everything else they've got slated is not going to do very well. Maybe Kevin Costner's two-part Western. Maybe. But other than that, I don't see anything at all that's going to do any business. Now, as you know, we're going to go here in a couple of days. We're going to get the numbers for the quarter, okay? Warner Brothers is going to come out and say, and I can almost guarantee this is what they're going to say. We had a great quarter. Look at Godzilla. Look at Dune. Now, I don't understand why they put the two movies out three weeks apart instead of six weeks apart to get maximum amount of money. I think that was a stupid idea. But at least both those movies did fantastic at the box office. Now they're coming out on, you know, digital and everything like that. So you're making way, way, way more money. The other, the other problems that you have is other companies. Disney. Disney just had their war 
with pelts and Perlmutter. Now, Iger openly lied to his investors. And yes, I'm saying, Iger, you lied. Because why? The minute you won, what did you do? Oh, here's the Fantastic Four. We're going to race swap the Silver Surfer. Oh, we're going to talk about X-Men. We're going to put it in an alternate universe where it doesn't matter where we can sex swap, race swap, everything. That's all you do. That's all you know how to do. You can't make anything worth a damn. That's why your stock is going down. It's already, what is it, 110, I think it is today? I mean, geez. You guys, I mean, Disney, I don't know what the hell you're doing. And then, of course, we have Dungeons and Dragons and Hasbro, the poster child of what not to do for a company. This company has a golden goose, which is Dungeons and Dragons, to work with. Hasbro did. And what did they do? They screwed it up. And this is where I talk about your base customer base. Do not ignore your customer base. And that's exactly, not only did they ignore it, they told them, don't buy our stuff. You can go look. They did say that. And now what happened? Worst sales they've had in years. They're not going to make any money. They're laying people off left and right, especially at Dungeons and Dragons and Wizards of the Coast. I mean, Hasbro, what, what are they going to do now? Outsource to Playmates to make their toys? I mean, what kind of company is Hasbro becoming? A, I mean, it's basically a shell of itself. This is where you have mismanagement stupidity, complete mismanagement stupidity. And it's all the way through Hollywood. You know, I can sit here and talk about what I think is going to happen to Hollywood, but I'm going to tell you real sweet when it comes to Warner Brothers. They're going to talk about Godzilla and Dune at the quarterly meeting. They're going to talk about debt reduction at the quarterly meeting. They're going to talk about, oh, we have some great ideas coming down the pipeline, down the down the thing with James Gunn and his superhero movies. So let's talk about James Gunn and his superhero movies for a minute. Okay. The comic book sales for DC Comics has come out from last year, almost matching 1998, which was the worst year in history for comic book sales. We're down 26% since two years ago, which was a bad year. 26%. We don't even have, except for Batman, we have no book in the top 150 that's not batman what the hell you want to have superman be successful you need to get the comic books successful dc comics when you look at the movies you look at aquaman 2 that came out what was the comic book oh it had been canceled because of bad sales and bad story writing who was when black adam came out where was the comic book 157 wasn't even selling 15,000 copies wonder woman Two, the new the one that just recently came out. You go look at her sales. She was basically barely in the 150 range, selling maybe 35,000 copies a month. What the hell's going on at the comic book company? Without those movies, without those comic books, superhero movies are dead. Without comic book readers, we're dead. And you're getting killed by manga. Okay, you can sit here and talk all you want to, but the sales don't lie. They do not lie. They show numbers. You can't fudge numbers. Well, Disney can, because they're bankrupt. Their payroll clerks. I don't know how they do it, but man, whew. right now you have to make a decision on streaming and on movies. Are you going to go for profit, max profit? Or are you going to play politics? It's one or the other. You can't do both. And I can tell you right now, you've been playing politics with everything, and it's costing you hundreds of millions of dollars. In Disney's case, it cost them billions of dollars. This stuff needs to stop, completely stop, completely rethink what needs to be done. Because you're playing to an audience that doesn't support you, doesn't recognize you, and won't care. They don't care. They get what they want, and then they move on. Don't believe me? Look at the, what happened to Hallmark Channel. Okay? They went DEI. Their president came in, screwed that company up. Worst it's been in years. Worst viewership. Worst sales. Worse numbers, and then the jump ship and left. They don't stay around. They run your company into the ground, and then they leave. They get what they want, and they tear your company apart. You need to fix things. You need to fix it now. Because if you don't, Japan's going to take it over. Because look what happened in Christmas. What were the two big movies in Christmas? Godzilla minus one, Toho, Japan, and Studio Ghibli, which stomped Disney in the ground. Yes, Disney, you got stomped in the ground in Christmas, which used to be your big mo month. This is getting out of hand, and companies are going to crumble. 
Paramount is showing it right now. They're so desperate. They're trying to sell their company. CEO walks off. They're losing millions a month on their streaming service that has totally failed. Why has it failed? Real simple. A streaming service, if you want to run a streaming service that's successful, I'll tell you how to do it. And I'm going to use Warner Brothers as an example. And I'm not saying they're successful. They have a hit show like Game of Thrones. Okay? It runs 10 weeks. Then what do you have? Nothing for 27 weeks. Maybe even longer. Maybe 40 weeks. You think people are going to stick around for a year waiting on a new season? No. They're going to jump ship. They may come back to watch second season. But you've got to have stuff that comes right back in. Bam. Right after. Okay, if you're going to go 10 weeks, have another show within two to three weeks that starts up that they want to see again. You have to have new programs that people want to see. Not just new programs, but new programs people want to see. And right now, you're not doing it. No streaming service is doing it. You played to go after Netflix, and you bombed. Now you're having to scramble. You didn't think this through. And it's paying you back in lost revenue. You have to fix it. You have to fix it now. So, like I said, the quarterly meeting is going to come out, and I can tell you exactly what they're going to tell you. They're going to talk about two movies. They're going to talk about their debt reduction, but they're going to not talk much about their streaming service because the streaming service, WB streaming service, HBO Max, is not getting back up together. Maybe when House of the Dragon Season 2 comes out, like I said, people don't want to wait. They're going to shut down. And now we're seeing it. More and more people are buying services for one or two months, and then that's it. You've got to keep them there. You've got to have stuff for them. Good programs, not just throw-by-night stuff. And quit wasting money. Godzilla Minus One was done on $15 million. 15. Why are we using that kind of money for a TV show? Budget what you're doing. Figure out how to do it. Shows back in the past didn't cost that much. We can do we can do shows cheaper than that. Come on, guys. Think about it. Because right now, we're all in trouble. Okay, I don't like seeing stocks go down. I don't like seeing people get fired. I want to see people hired. I want to see good programs on television. I want to see good programs on streaming services. I want to see good movies at the theater. And right now it's not happening. And especially comic books, Marvel, DC, pull your heads out of your asses. You are getting slammed. You are getting destroyed. Okay? Yes, Marvel, I know about you running to Viz to save your digital programming. Why? Because Viz is kicking everybody's butt. Because they're the manga kings. And unless you guys do something about this and turn your books around to where you're selling back to 100, 200,000 copies a week, I mean a month, the movies that James Gunn's making, the movies that Marvel's making are all going to flop. You have to get those comic book sales back up. Now, I might have took the thunder out of the board meeting with Zaslav, but you know what? I don't care anymore. Yes, I'm a yes, I have stock. I'm a stockholder. I'm an investor of WBD. And I will bitch and moan and complain until things are fixed. And I guess sending letters is not going to do it. I guess making videos like this is going to have to do. Because until then, we got to get things fixed. We got to start making money. We got to start making profit. And profit is what keeps our doors open, our theaters open, our studios open, our filmmaking open. Without profit, we're in trouble. And we can't just keep continually getting loans because one moment the banks want their refund returns. And right now they're not getting it. And when they start calling in, you're going to have to pay. You're really going to have to pay. So, you know, this is my rant. I'm making it. You know, I do not work, and I want to say this, I do not work for anybody in the entertainment field, okay? I am a horror author, and that's it. I do not work for WB. I do not work for anybody. I do not work for Hasbro. I do not work for Disney. I do not work for Paramount. I do not work for Universal. I do not work for Sony. 
And I do not work for Amazon. And this is me talking. With my 30 years experience in business management, I can tell you right now, Hollywood, you're in trouble. And if you don't fix this mess, you're really going to be in trouble. I'm going to say this. By 2025, we're going to find out just how strong you guys think you are. Because by 2025, there's going to be some reckoning. And there's going to be some money having to be paid. Because you're not going to like what's going to happen unless you turn it around. So, like I said, this is my report. This is what I'm saying before the WB investors meeting, which is going to be, I think, Friday. And we'll see what David Zaslav has to say. But I'm pretty sure what he's going to say. And I've said what I think he's going to do. To the other companies, you got to make a choice. You need to fix things. And you need to fix things now. Or you're going to see your companies go into garbage. So, everybody, have a good day. My name is James Lee. And I'll see you next time.